If there's anyone who knows what it's like to handle a high-profile case with mental illness at its core, it's George Parnum. When I go to the cemetery, I, I, there, there, there are five headstones, all different dates of birth, but the same date of death, you know? And, um, uh, but she was so, so sick. Parnum successfully defended Andrea Yates, the Houston mother who drowned her five children. He's been honored across the nation for his expertise when it comes to the use of the insanity defense. Knows that the Haskell case is difficult. It personally hurts all of us uh, emotionally, I, I feel certain. But he also knows it's likely to be the next insanity test. It's going to be an uphill battle, there's no question about it. Parnum has worked in the past with Haskell's defense attorney, Doug Durham, respects him, but... If there is any indication or evidence of motive, uh, that is going to be a huge hurdle for any defense lawyer to overcome. That said, there are other considerations. Individuals that are mentally ill can think about it, can plan it, can do rational acts. Evidence like alleged statements that he planned to come here and kill people. That might actually be evidence for insanity. Does a rational individual who intends to take someone's life uh, pronounces that activity beforehand? That will be for a Harris County jury to decide. Jeremy Diesel, KHOU, 11 News.